So let's look at 10% of 100. You move the decimal point over one place and you get 10. That is 10% of 100. Now to get the other 5%, you will need to half whatever your 10% was, and that equals 5. So if you add those two together, you can see that 15% of 100 is 15. Now let's put this back in our formula. 15 is 15% 15 of 100. So if you increase in 100 kvp by 15%, you have 115 kvp. If you lower 100 kvp by 15%, you subtract 15 and you have 85 kvp. Now let's take a look at another example using 80. 10% of 80 moving the decimal point one place is 8. 8 is 10% of 80. You half the 8 to get your other 5%. That is 4. So when you add those two together, you can see that 10% plus 5% is your 15%. And then 8 plus 4 is 12. So 12 is 15% of your 80. Now let's work this out in a problem. If you have 80 kvp and you're increasing by 12, which is 15%, you have 92 kvp. If you have 80 kvp and you want to lower by 15%, you subtract 12 and you have 68 kvp. So that's easily you can do the 10%, then define the 5%, add those two together. Our last one would be 74, move the decimal point one place and you have 7.4. That is your 10%. Now think about this in terms of dollars. If you have $7.40 divided by 2, you have $3.70. You do $3.70 plus $7.40 to find your 15% and you have around 11.1. .1. So let's use 11 as our example. If you increase 74 kvp by 15%, you plus 11 and you have 85 kvp. If you have 74 kvp and you want to lower by 15%, you subtract 11 and you have 63 kvp. So hopefully this will be easy for you to figure out. You find your 10%, half that, find your 5%, add those two together, that is your 15%. You can do this within 3 to 5 seconds. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let us know. Remember, always advance, never repeat.